Tanya Young here to take you through today's market action. So let's take a look at where markets closed to end Tuesday. The Nasdaq 100 ended up by the most, more than 2%, while the S&P 500 and the small cap Russell 2000 closed up more than 1.4%, and the Dow also ended higher. Taking a look at the leading and lagging sectors on the day, all 11 S&P 500 sectors ended higher, with communication services and consumer discretionary ending up by more than 2%. Utilities and energy rose by the least. Looking at some stocks on the move, Bitcoin futures climbed as high as 7.5% today after an appeals court cleared the way for the first Bitcoin ETF. The judge said the Securities and Exchange Commission was wrong to turn down Grayscale Investments' application for a spot Bitcoin ETF and called the SEC's decision arbitrary and capricious. NEO shares closed down about 1% after losses widened and revenue fell more than expected in its recent quarterly earnings results. And as a result, Tesla shares ended up by nearly 8%. And Apple announced its September 12th event where the company is expected to launch its new iPhone 15 and a new Apple Watch. It'll also unveil new software for its devices. Shares closed up more than 2%. Let's look at what to watch for tomorrow. ADP employment, GDP, and pending home sales data will be released. And then when we look at earnings, Brown Foreman headlines the companies that report before the open, and CrowdStrike, Salesforce, and Okta are among the companies that report after the closing bell. That'll do it for The Wrap. I'm Renita Young, and remember to tune in 24-7 to schwabnetwork.com.